Okay, last question. So, uh, the equation of a curve is uh, this thing. So, when we find dy by dx, so we start with um, y equals k lots of 4x plus 1, or raised to the half, uh, subtract x plus 5. Therefore, dy by dx, bring down the power, um, take one off the power and multiply by the derivative. When you bring down the half, multiply by 4, half times 4 is 2. So you're going to get 2k lots of 4x plus 1 raised to the power of negative a half, subtract 1. Okay, that's going to be our derivative. Um, there you go, done. Um, next, it says find the x coordinate of the stationary point in terms of k. So that will happen when dy by dx equals 0. So dy by dx equals 0 um, will mean that if this equals 0, that means that 2k lots of 4x plus 1 all raised to the negative half must equal 1. So if this equals 0, move the 1 over. Okay, you end up with this. Um, now, if you imagine this has been 2k over root of 4x plus 1, plus 1, that means you can give this as 2k equals square root of 4x plus 1. Okay, so we get to that point now. Um, once that happens, okay, so we've got, we've got that section there. It's not too scary. Um, seems okay so far. Um, once we've got that, we need to be able to try to, to get to our solve. Now, um, we want in k to be a cost of constant. Fine. That's all right. It just basically means that we, we don't need to worry about when we're squaring and stuff. So we get 4k squared equals 4x plus 1. That's squaring both sides. 4k squared and subtract 1 all over 4 equals x. And find the x coordinate of the stationary point in terms of um, k is that done. All right, given that k equals 10.5, find the equation of the normal to the curve at the point where the tangent to the curve makes an angle of tans inverse 2 with the positive x axis. Okay. So the tangent will be some triangle that heads off in that sort of direction. Okay. Um, so we're saying that its rise over run would be 2. Um, its, its rise over run could be found and you'd find out that its gradient would be, would be uh, making an angle of, of inverse tan of 2. Okay, so first off, we're going to say, well, the angle, the angle, by the way, this, this is the answer of question C, I'm just putting up the x of space, um, the angle would equal inverse tan of opposite over adjacent. Okay, that's cool. And what we're saying is that that inverse tan, that, that O over A must equal to 2. Okay, so that O over A equals 2. Cool. Which means that the gradient dy by dx equals 2. Because if you look at the opposite over the adjacent, okay, well that's fine, that's theta. The gradient must equal to rise over run must equal to. So we say the gradient is equal to two. Cool. All right. So we're going to say well, two k of four um, x plus one all raised to the negative a half minus one equals two. Add on the one, um, and once we've added on the one, we're going to start start doing some other bits and pieces with it. So we're going to we're going to tidy up. By the way, also k was ten point five. Okay, so that's cool. So we're going to end up with 10.5 times 2, which is 21 over um, 4x plus 1, all raised to the half, raised to the half, um, equals 3. We're going to divide through by 3. So I'll end up with 7 equals, I'm going to divide through by 3, divide by 3, and I'm going to multiply up here. So that's going to end up with a square root of 4x plus 1. All right, cool. Um, once I've got that, I'm going to say, well, I'm going to square both sides and find out that 49 equals 4x plus 1, meaning that x equals 12. Fine, okay. So um, we've got x equals 12. That's great. Now, the normal gradient is going to be perpendicular to the gradient of the tangent. The gradient of the tangent was 2. So the gradient for the normal, m of the normal, the gradient of the tangent was 2, then the gradient of the normal would be negative half. We know that when x equals 12, we're hitting, uh, but that's, that's where our point is, 
but also we need to find out when x equals 12, what's y? So that'll mean that y is equal to 10.5, because k is 10.5. 10.5, lots of 4 twelves plus uh, the square root of 4 times 12 is 48 plus 1 is 49, minus 12 plus 5, remember an x is 12, so you get y equals 10.5 lots of 7, take away 7, okay, which will be 66.5 once you work that out, so y equals 66. Five. Um, and so we'll have y minus 66.5 equals radian, which is the next of a half, of x minus 12, which we found out up here. All right, and after a bit of tidying up, we're going to find out that y equals negative half of x um, plus 145 over 2. Okay, 145 over 2. Um, and that's it, the paper's done. All right, a really, really, really tough paper. Lots of different things happening in there. But there you go. Done.